is Delaney and welcome to my channel. Here's something about me. I love summer as I'm sure most of you do and I'm so excited for summer and I just need something to kind of get me in the summer mood. So I've been watching Lavender Cashew Milk Latte on YouTube recently and I love her videos are so relaxing and comforting. So uh, definitely go check her out. She has a great channel, but she recently made a summer bucket list. And I was like, I want to do that because I have so many things that I want to do in the summer. I'm going traveling. I'm going on a family cruise right when school ends. And then after that, I'm going to Europe, like Paris and London. So excited for that seems like it's so far away going to be making a summer bucket list and do you guys some reading updates maybe bake some brownies because i've been wanting to bake recently and i haven't had a chance to so i'm gonna do that tonight but the first thing that i'm gonna do is make a summer bucket list so first we have some construction paper and pockets and things like that it's just like scrapbooking paper so i'm gonna use this as well it's so cute too magazines it would just be fun to put in some photos on that and stamps butterfly is like my favorite one my Big craft kit that you can see whenever I do a bullet journal or whenever I do a book journaling you will see this out because it has all my pens and stuff. I did A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. 53 of it and I really like it so far. It is super easy to read and I also really like it because it has um it's like Beauty and the Beast you're telling so I can kind of like see the hints or the nods to the original story with obviously it's like a very different uh storyline I guess. So I really like it so far and it's super easy to read and it has like new paragraphs. There's no long paragraphs. It like starts every line on a new paragraph, which makes it feel like I'm reading so much faster. I've recently been in a slump because I don't know. I've just been start. I've started like four different books this week and I read like maybe 50 pages, maybe even 100 pages. And then I just stopped because I wasn't enjoying it because obviously I don't want to force myself to read a book that I don't like but it also feels very discouraging like and having trouble finding a book that kind of keeps my attention and that I'm excited to read because this has really been the only book that I've been like wanting to read reading in my free time type of thing because I have not been doing that for the past week ever since I finished Serpent and Dove I have not finished a book or really started a book that I've liked like I've started Greater Nothing truly devious i've read 100 pages of legendborn and i tried to start sorcery of thorns and none of those caught my attention so this will hopefully do that for me and i really just want to finish a book but i also want to give it a high rating because i haven't had a five star read ever since ignite me which i read at the beginning of march so on the hunt for a five star read or just a good book that i enjoyed reading so is going on right now i think i have to go let the dog out but I will go let her out and then I will talk to you guys when I'm starting my bucket list. So yeah, let's go. I just finished sorry it's, if it's a little loud but i have my um ac unit on so it's gonna be a little bit loud but here's the finished bucket list i love it so much it's so cute and it's making me so excited for summer so i just have some little stickers here that i cut out from my magazines and then we have summer bucket list 2022 nope not 2022 2023 the year that we are in okay so first i have a 24-hour readathon. Susanna and I have been wanting to do this for so long and I'm so excited to do it. Then we have Have a Picnic, Movie and Night Swim, Watch a Sunrise, Family Cruise and Europe Trip, Tie-Dye, Karaoke, Go to a Concert, Find a New Cafe, Farmer's Market, Sleepover, Fruit Picking, Watch the Summer I Turn Pretty because I need to, Read all the summer books that I have been excited to read, 
go to movie theater, photo shoot, bake something new, find a garage sale, yard sale, and 4th of July in Amelia Island. This on the bottom. I'm loving it. It's so cute. And now whenever I finish something on the list, I can just check it off. Just finished our brownies. Look at how good they look. Hey guys. What are you reading? Brownie, obviously. You're reading brownie? Icebreaker. Ooh. I'm excited. It's pretty good. I'm on page 85. And I love it. They're already together. It's very insta love. But, you know, here for it. I like it. It's good. good. Okay, we got a try our brownies, but I'm on chapter eight of A Curse of Dark and Lonely. We're gonna keep reading. Are going to church later tonight to the Easter Vigil Mass, which is at like I think it's at 8 15, so it's pretty late. It's gonna we're probably gonna be back at like 11, so I probably won't be updating the vlog anymore. But I wanted to give you guys a haul because I went to Old Navy with Susanna and my mom yesterday and I got some amazing summer pieces. And one of them is actually washing, it's a swimsuit top and it's so cute. 
but we actually did yard work today and a bit dirty so I was washing it but I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Old Navy and then we also volunteered at the Adore store which is the like um, pet rescue that my family works with and we volunteered at the store there and they also had some books and they're super affordable so we got some as well I got these denim shorts and they're so cute I love the wash and they're super super comfortable here they are they're really cute and it's the high rise wow three inch inseam shorts and they're so cute and they're like light wash which i love dark rose colored tank top and it's so cute and i just love it it's like just adorable and it fits me so well so and it was 40 percent off the store yesterday so we came on a really good day for crew socks they caught me in line i was in line and these socks were there so first they got strawberries this blue and then this is the star the cherries and I wear these with um, these like quarter crew or like crew socks that are just a little bit longer with my Converse because I think they look really cute. So I love these. The Bad Beginning, A Series of Unfortunate Events, The Love That Split the World, Speak, which Susanna's going to use, series which I'm going to put on my nightstand, The Deaf, which I hate the cover, but the, the spine is really pretty. So this is the egg sandwich that's kind of falling apart, but it's okay. Susanna, what's your meal? <gasps> Gorgeous. It is sourdough from the farmer's market, cottage cheese, tomatoes from the farmer's market, microgreens from the farmer's market, honey, salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. Delicious. So. So it's 4.50 now and I'm going to show you guys what I got in my Easter basket. It was so much fun and I kept my food items downstairs. So I got some cookies, caramels, gummies, things like that. Um, but I'll show you guys what I got. A loofah because I need one. It's like hot pink crop top. It's so cute and so summer. I love it. This gorgeous hair clip. It's so pretty. And then this wristlet and pop socket which I love everything and I'm so grateful for everything. I also got a, dot, a Diet Coke. Hope you had a very happy Easter. I definitely did. It was so much fun. We're gonna have a ham tonight, which we don't normally have, but I'm so excited about that. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.